Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to slice a model in pieces. Uh, this tutorial is really popular. Everyone did it. I didn't do it. I want to do it. So let's jump in. Also, if you want to boost your skills in Photoshop, I want to share with you Nick Peterson, who's an award-winning designer in Photoshop. In this course, he teaches you how to create elaborate, realistic digital compositions with a strong and meaningful message. Using Photoshop, learn Nick's professional techniques for creating award-winning digital collages. Creating something correct in Photoshop is not easy. You need to understand the principles of composition, perspective, lighting, shading, retouching, and a lot more. Discover how to apply special effects using blending modes for shadows, highlights, and other other techniques for enhancing your project. Close the course by learning how Nick finishes his images and prepares them for digital mediums from social media to large-scale prints. To find out more, click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna select this model, go to layers, unlock the layer, and we're gonna need to select the head. Now what I'm gonna go and select the object selection tool, I'm gonna select the head. Okay, so it selected this area, as you can see, it didn't select the glass. I'm gonna make and select this area as well. I'm gonna select now the quick selection tool. Make sure that it's on the plus and I'm gonna select the rest. There you go, that's it. And from here, I'm gonna go to select and mask. Click and make sure to select the refine edge brush tool. Okay, all you need to do is where you, where you see these hairs, Basically, it cut off the hair. I can just gonna go again on them, and it's gonna bring back the rest of the hair. You know, I'm just gonna go around and check this out. So right now we have the glass disappear because it cut it off. We basically can bring it back. So I'm gonna go and boom, there we go. And from here I'm gonna click on OK. Okay, from here I'm gonna go and mask it. Click on the mask. As you can see here in these areas. It made it too transparent. I don't want that, so I'm gonna make a new copy. I'm gonna drag this to the little plus. Now, it basically corrected it, you know. Okay, I'm gonna select both, right click, merge layers. And from here, we're gonna start cutting it. Okay, I'm gonna just do a slice, and rest, you know what to do. So first thing, we're gonna select the pan tool, which is located right here, select it, and I'm gonna slice this thing. I'm gonna cut here in this area where the mouth is, I'm gonna go and do the selection and go now round and round, make it connect here, right click, make selection and make sure to be on zero and then click OK. Now I got selected, press Control X and then Control V and now it's cut in two pieces. Hello guys, what's up? Look at me. <laughs> okay, so you need to bring this up a little. You also can press Ctrl T and rotate it a little, like so. And now I gotta uncheck this, the top head here, and work with this. I gotta create a new layer. Click on the little plus and drag the new layer under all the layers, okay? And from here, we're gonna work with the pen tool again. Select the pen tool, and I gonna create you know, this empty part of the head. Okay, again, right click, make selection, zero, click OK. You know, you can select the paint bucket tool and just color it however you like. Press Ctrl D to deselect. You know, if it's not correct, you can press Ctrl T and select this. Click and you can modify it after you create it. Press Enter, there you go. Okay, we're gonna recolor this. Go to the layer, double click on the layer with this black hole. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna activate this top also so we know exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna per place it somewhere nicely. All right, so this area is going to be dark and this area is going to be light because this area is shutting down. You know, it's getting darker. So I'm gonna go back to this layer, double click on it, click on the gradient overlay and voila, you can select colors in here. You can rotate the angle also. So I'm gonna make the angle like this. So this area is gonna be darker. You can go to the gradient, click on the gradient and you can select all kinds of colors. I'm gonna go with some blue. I'm gonna go with this one, click OK. So this is one slice. You can slice it however you want it, how many times you want it. And yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye bye.